1967 Juno Award, starring Howie Mandel with Melanie Kennedy, Sonia Benezra, Dave Betts, Leona Boyd, Tom Cochran, Russell DeCarl, Celine Dion, Samantha Fox, Alan Frew, Gowan, Corey Hart, Mark Holmes, John Knox, Sue Jeffries, Oliver Jones, Mark Jordan, K.D. Lang, Luba, Marjo, Frank Mills, Stacey Mistician, Tim Mitchell, Gil Moore, Anne Murray, Billy Newton Davis, The Nylon, The Parkman Brothers, Margaret Pachu, Sam Reed, Kim Richardson, Rock and Hyde, Lorraine Segato, Errol Starr, Samantha Taylor, Jim Valens, Gino Benelli, Christopher Ward, Duncan Wall, with special guest appearances by Brian Adams, Errol Smith, Blue Rodeo, Bob Jovi, Chuck Circle, Dick Clark, Cutting Through, Peter Gabriel, The Guess Who, Loverboy, Tina Turner, and you too! Your host for the 1987 Juno Awards, Howie Mandel. Welcome to the, 19, to the 1987 Juno Awards, and uh, <clears throat> um, this is, oh, this is, uh, this is, this has been a great year for Canadian music, and um, <clears throat> who knows, um, Miss Saskatoon could win, right? You, you don't know. <laughs> You never know. Um, I'm happy to be invited back because I'm never, I'm not, I'm not invited back anywhere. I'm just, uh, I'm okay. I'm, I'm, it's blood. Blood! It's blood. I'm okay. No, I'm okay. You don't, you don't have to worry about me. To present the Juno for Composer of the Year, a performer who's nominated in four categories tonight, uh, Kim Mitchell, and a most promising male vocalist nominee, uh, Christopher Ward. <laughs> Welcome to the 1987 Juno Awards. <laughs> it's great. It's great to be back here at the Junos. I'm excited to be part of it once again. And I want, I want to take this opportunity in the show, being at the O'Keefe Center. I, I've only come to shows here. I've never really been part of one. I think from the, you know, we should just try something for one second. Can we get the people in the balcony on the count of three to spit on these people? <laughs> you know, there's an old expression. It, it goes like this. It's like 60 years old. And, and it means, uh, I'm just paraphrasing, it's really hard to, it means uh, there's, uh, oh yeah, there's something wrong with my lip. <laughs> but, to present the awards for most promising female vocalist of the year and most promising male vocalist of the year, from Parachute Club, Lorraine Segato, and from the box, Jean-Marc.
I just want to say that, you know, backstage and in the audience at these award shows, you get to meet a lot of people, and I'm bumping into people, and you can't tell by the way people are dressed and the way they look, you know, what they do or who they are. Like, there's this guy standing backstage. I'm just going to tell you one second. The guy standing backstage, he's a short and stout guy, right? He's standing by the back by the soundboard, and he's standing there, he's standing there like this, right? He's standing, there, he's standing there like this, right? So obviously, you know, I thought this guy's a little teapot, right? Because he was short and stout. <laughs> Here was his handle, and here was his spout. <laughs> but he's just a blender. <laughs> oh. Well, okay, now here's a man who needs no introduction. <laughs> okay, maybe just a little one, all right. Gino Vanelli. And now, here from the award-winning show, Degrassi Junior High, are two of its stars, Stacy Mystician and Duncan Waugh. Jackie, Lori, and Stephanie. <laughs> Those are just some guys I went to school with. Anyways, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, once again, Gino Vanelli. Now, please welcome two of Canada's top R&B recording artists, Errol Starr and Kim Richardson. Great. That was great. That was a great number. And I also like the way they used, I haven't seen that before, smoke. They used smoke during a number. You seen that in, in music, with music, the blending? That's going to catch on. You'll see. You watch videos and you'll say, I saw it at the Junos in 87. That's where it started. <laughs> Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, Canada's first lady of guitar, Leona Boyd, and from the 1986 Juno Country Group of the Year, Prairie Oyster, Russell DeCarl. That's amazing. People, people applaud just for coming back from commercial. Not, they've been doing it for years. Anyways, backstage, you can't, I'm t I'm, I don't know why I'm telling you this, but I feel close to everyone here. You can't get into the bathroom backstage, and, and I want to. <laughs> but, you know, it's probably, maybe the nylons have the runs, who knows. Anyways. <laughs> well, you think of a better diarrhea gag, anyways. <laughs> Here to perform this song, Newsweek magazine, called The Summer Hit of 1987, from their debut album, Electric Honey, ladies and gentlemen, the Partland Brothers performing Soul City. That's right. Can I just ask a question here? Um, how many people saw last year's Junos? You have, you have, your, you have your hand up, ma'am? You have your hand up? Uh, how many? No, how, how many people saw last year's Junos? <laughs> Thank you. It's just a figure I, I, I wanted to know. You know, last year, I was amazed at all the talented people I had a chance to work with. But there was one individual who really blew me away, and, and I'm, I, I became, and I still am, such a huge fan of this guy, really. And back once again, <laughs> this is so exciting for me, back once again to explain the balloting and voting regulations for the Junos. <laughs> you love him too, representing the accounting firm of Thor and Ernst and Winnie, Mr. Michael Lover. They love you, Mike. They love you. Take a bow. Take a bow. That's great. Uh, it's been a good year? Great Hang out. Man. It's been a good year? Great year. Great year. It's been a great... What did, what did you do this year? Well, we counted a lot of battles I don't mean... I don't, don't tell them what you did the whole year, but just up till, like, say, March. <laughs> you know what? Today I was on Young Street, and I bought this stuff. I bought this. Have you seen this, Mike? Yeah, what's that? What's that? Look at this stuff. It's really neat. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
says keep out of hair. <laughs> looks, like, <laughs> looks like a smurf puked looks, all over you. Looks like the inside of a golf ball. Huh? Looks like the inside of a golf ball. The inside of a golf ball. Well, come up and join me. You know what? You, could, you just come out here and you just, uh, you just represent him. I mean, you should do more for this. You should... You can get it. No. <laughs> this, this, just this take one. this home to the wife. The kids will love it. <laughs> Let's just, why don't you, wouldn't it be fun just to stay out? I mean, you just come out and you take a bow. That's your job, right? That's That's you wait the whole year just to do that. You just, well, you just get up at nine, just sit in the office and wait. Well, uh, November 2nd is coming up. What is it? Can you, can you read the, can you read the card? Yes, I can. Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, to present the Juno Award in country music, two Juno Award winner, no, two-time two Juno two, two, Award right, winner. Good. I didn't. This is this is the guy that's counting all the ballots. He can't even read. Well, I'd have brought my glasses if they were me. No, but I understand once once you get up to those numbers, like two. Well, that's right. <laughs> Two-time Juno Award winner, uh, Billy Newton Davis, and Britain's and br pop queen, Samantha Fox. I know, this I know you got you got things to do, but I just wanna I just want Michael to feel like he's more a part of it. <laughs> <laughs> so just uh, you know you can right. just do what you have to do, and Michael. Okay. Just, <laughs> just stay right there. Just stay right there. All right. I'll go anywhere. All right. You're not, you're not going to put us on fire. No, I'm not. Have you got a bad case of dandruff or something? <laughs> That's right. That's right. right. I'm going to show up. Today. <laughs> To present the Juno for the best video of the year, two of Canada's top VJs. From Musique Plus, Sonia Benezra. Hello, me, Howie. And no, from wait, CBC. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Serious? Yeah, sure. From CBC's Good Rocking Tonight, Stu Jeffries. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of four Felix Awards. He's a wonderful, wonderful cat. <laughs> Including Entertainer of the Year, Marjo, and from Triumph, Gil Moore. Uh, could I just take a second here? I know that we're running a, a little bit behind, but I, um, I just want to, I just want to say something about, um, oh, jeez. About, uh, no, I had something on my mind. I mean, it. Um, oh, music, music. Let's talk about music. Song stylings of Oliver Jones. She's a model. You know, when you think of music, I mean, think, think about this for a second. Where, where would we be without music, right? Um, well, we'd still be here. It's not like we'd be two blocks away if there wasn't any music. There'd probably still be the Junos, but it would maybe it'd only be a half hour long. No, it'd be like 33 minutes because they always go overtime, right? And without music, I mean, music goes with dancing. Without music, dancing would look really stupid. I think it would. But because a good example of that is like if you had something else that's supposed to be with something and then that something else wasn't around, then, no, think about it. And that something else wasn't around, then that something would look stupid without the thing that it was supposed to be with. But when you think of music, you think of love. I mean, music goes with love, and it goes with romance. It goes with, it goes with just about everything, right? But when I think about music, 
When I think about music, the one thing that I think about is synchronized swimming. <laughs> Still to come, the Guess Who, Gowan, U2, and Loverboy. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, can everyone come here for a minute? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's the strange animal himself, Gowan. I just want to say that we've been receiving a ton of calls backstage, and uh, this goes for the people at home who are inquiring. During the uh, performance number, sure, you're, you're allowed to get up and dance in your own home. It was only for, for the people here. I mean, I don't... Just go ahead, do whatever you want. I mean, it's your house. <laughs> Anyways, to present this year's Hall of Fame award, one of Canada's foremost producers, ladies and gentlemen, Jack Richardson. I didn't even see that I was on. I was telling filthy, filthy, disgusting jokes. <laughs> Anyways, to present the Juno for Female Vocalist of the Year, please welcome, you know him, you love him, Corey Hart. <laughs> Earlier this evening, I should mention that the dinner... I don't know if it's time to make the announcement, but the dinner after the show has been canceled. It's going to be uh, just, a, they're having just a really late lunch. <laughs> Earlier this evening at the special awards ceremony, the following Juno Awards were presented. Watch this. You know, I think... Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> Got an idea. All right. How about some adventure? This is good. Oh, this is going to be great. <laughs> Here, give me this. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And just put that in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, here's Canada's angel with a lariat, Katie Lang, and three time Juno winner, Frank Mills. You know he do it to us, right? Oh, hell. We're uh, running. We're running short on time. Just please, just get right to the. Uh, <laughs> it's important that you just that get right to the. But that doesn't mean you Pardon need. Me? A but that doesn't mean you need a degree from the Conservatory of Music. That's right. <laughs> Good I jazz is exciting and exciting. spontaneous too. That's right. <laughs> Frank. <laughs> Frank. We start now, right? Okay. Jazz has a reputation for being a musician's music. What does that say there? Turn the card, Howie. <laughs> Just read the goddamn cue card! <laughs> thing a show is fun. At home, you're probably wondering why they're laughing. It's because I just said that. I thought I was on the air, but I was probably talking to some lady washing her dishes. <laughs> Anyways, the hard part about this job, what I found hard about it is pronouncing people's names, because this is a night of names. I mean, those people who win awards, and I think it's important to pronounce their names properly. That's why I flew into Toronto a day early, just to go over the names and make sure that there would be no problem with that. I don't know what that has to do with anything, but anyway. <laughs> anyway, now to present the Juno for most promising group of the year, recording artist and songwriter Mark Jordan 
and AM recording artist, Véronique Périgaud. Here she is. Wasn't she great? You know, I've always said one of my favorite singers is Céline Dion. And now to present the Juno for Instrumental Artist of the Year, Dave Betts from Honeymoon Suite and Mark Holmes from, from Platinum Pla Blonde. I know that one. I know that one. <laughs> Live via satellite, right from London. God, is that just outside Stratford? It's amazing what they can, what will they think of next? I'm having so much fun, I don't even care anymore. <laughs> I don't, no, I don't care about anything. Backstage, Jimmy Cracked Corn, I don't care. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, premiering her new single, When a Man Loves a Woman, which I think is a good time to premiere it, please welcome Luba. Now, to present the album of the year, Juno, from Glass Tiger, Alan Frew, and, and Sam Reed. <laughs> 